Ooh, crawlers have exploded this year. They are left and right and everywhere. small and huge and everywhere in between. It's been a good year for crawlers. Today, we're gonna take a look at the very hard to do. This list was really challenging. So we made it, it has to be 10th scale and bigger. We're taking a look at three of our favorite crawlers, but it still covers a huge variety of, of, of the categories here. This video is our opinion, of course. This is gonna be a very opinionated video, I think. So let us know in the comments what your favorite crawler of the last year was or maybe of all time because I am sure that in this video we're gonna miss someone's favorite so having said that let's dive right into our top three favorite crawlers number three on the list is the axial Capra four-wheel steering this thing is cool yes it has the ability to steer up front and in the rear and do all sorts of different ways of driving from crab walking to full-on sideways shifted on the hillside to really tight radiuses all the way down to normal driving if you want to lock that rear steering it's also a very narrow and compact little crawler which means it's very capable this is basically a competition level pro crawler but anybody can pick it up and drive it and have fun with it it is just a really nice performance crawler right out of the box and because of those unique features that rear steering especially and just the high performance that it has that's why it is a very strong number three it could actually be number one but we like these you're gonna see what like these categories are <laughs> so different so of its category it's kind of like number one Number two on the list is the Rock Hobby 6 scale 1941 MB Army Jeep. <laughs> oh no. Oh yes. Yes, yes it does. Yes. Oh, wow. Oh, that just gained so many cool wow. points. <laughs> okay, so the name's a mouthful. Uh, we'll have it linked in the description box below. And guys, know that if you click those links and buy anything on the website, we do get a small kickback. Uh, it's a great way to support our channel and our family, which is growing. Yeah, little this one, is not just food. A little one on the way. No, there might be a fruitcake or two in there, right? Fruitcake? Yeah. Christmas fruitcakes? No. Yeah, no. No. Ice cream. Yeah, it's a, ice cream. a lot of ice cream in there <laughs> lately. Uh, <laughs> it, it's a good way to support our channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra. So I'm not saying you necessarily have to run out and buy the thing on the list, but if you do need a battery or a new charger or something, you can click that link and buy whatever it is on the website you need and we'll get a little credit. So thank you for supporting our channel and our growing family. So six scale. It's kind of crazy. Super detailed. This thing is big enough to put like a GI Joe or Barbies in. So cool. And we go to RC events and we see guys that have dressed up GI Joe and Barbie in camo, driving it around, pulling a wagon. But it is ridiculously scaled down to the leaf springs down below. I mean, it has shovels and axes and uh, real cloth padded seats, a windshield that folds down and up. The steering wheel <laughs> even turns when you turn the wheels. I love it. Lights can adjust. It's got a night running spotlight. It is scale. If you're into the crawling world, but not just crawling, you want it to have all those specific details, that's why this is on the list. And to be fair, FMS, and that's the website that we'll have linked down below to this army Jeep, has an insane army of things you can choose from. They have the scale detail market absolutely owned. If you like your RC vehicle to not only perform well, but also look insanely good, this is the brand to go with. And the crazy thing about this army Jeep is it's like 330 bucks. Mm -hmm. That's cheap for a six scale yeah. vehicle that um, has as much detail as it has. We're seeing crawlers now hit like the four, five, six hundred dollar range and even uh. next one will have maybe in the thousand dollar range. <laughs> so that's a really good price point in my opinion uh, for something so detailed. Number one on the list is the Axial SCX6 trail honcho i'm amazed wow oh man ah. <laughs> yeah. which is sitting can you guys see that right mm. there <laughs> this this beats the jeep out by far in my opinion but some people hate the way this trail honcho looks so you always have the original um, jeep wrangler SCX6 to choose from too. Personally, but personally, we like this one though. Yeah, I think the Jeep looks good, but you know, it's a little boxy, a little like big and clunky in comparison to this. This thing performed just really well. I think one of my favorite features, and I gotta be honest, 
are the headlights. The, the detail in those headlights are exactly scale and realistic. Yeah. It's not just a bucket light sitting up front with a wire running to it. These are embedded back behind the body. Uh, and better yet, it's crazy. unlike the Wrangler, which is just stickers, this is actually real headlights and stuff. So but it also has the spotlights, the trail lights. Yeah, uh, it's just awesome. And the performance is really good. I mean, Abby got behind the controller on this one big time in our first running video. <laughs> Well, technically it's just because I can't bend down. <laughs> to yeah, <promise. laughs> but it, it's really fun and it's got, you know, high and low speeds and it's a big beast. It's actually powerful enough. We have seen the Jeep and this pull a full, full size vehicle with an adult sitting on it. I mean, how crazy is that, that an RC can do that? So if you just are the type of person that needs to have like the best of the best, the biggest, the coolest, the most powerful RC in your collection, we can't deny that this thing exists and how cool it is. Uh, and so that is why it is number one on our list. Now you guys, we are gonna have another list where we talk about kind of, kind of, Mini. I don't know if it's our favorite, but we really love it is the mini crawler kind of mini car list. So if you're looking for something more budget friendly, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss that list, which will be hitting our channel very soon. Having said that and leaving the minis out of it, let us know in the comments, what is your favorite crawler? Guys, we have literally like a whole the top garage <laughs> full of 10 scale crawlers Plus some over there. that we just couldn't put on the and list over there. The, and the, over there. I, yeah, the wraith 1.9 there's just so many things i really wanted to put on this list but we you had to choose something i know that's why i didn't make the list <laughs> Uh, but there, there are just so many good we ones. Love so crawlers. we have nothing against like pretty much most crawlers, but we still have to pick some favorites. Yeah. But let us know what your favorite is and why. And if there's like an overwhelming certain crawler down there that we don't own, yeah. we'll get it. Right. So, we'll listen. Uh, <laughs> so for just an amazing, I know you guys can't see it, crawler collection. We'll have and, to show them our crawler collection. The freedom to choose <laughs> from so many awesome crawlers. I want to thank God. This hobby is so much fun and we are just so thankful we get to share it with you. We also want to say a massive thanks to our Patreon supporters because you guys keep us motivated. It's really just nice to know that someone appreciates you and that's what we have with our Patreon supporters. Uh, some of you might think it's a little bit corny but we really view a lot of you as family uh, just because you're so supportive and um, uh, that really hits home for us. We just want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Now. It's re it was impossible, almost impossible, to pick our favorite <laughs> RC crawler, but we did, and because we did, we want you guys to see the video that makes us feel so strongly about that crawler. We will have our Honcho six scale crawling video popping up right about now. You definitely have to check it out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.